Since the Edo and Ondo state governorship elections, stakeholders have been calling on INEC to do more to ensure electoral process in Nigeria is deepened. Over the weekend, about 30 legislative by-elections were held in different states. Reacting to the by-election results, some stakeholders commanded INEC despite some pockets of violence and irregularities. Thank uh, INEC for conducting the elections uh, peacefully, even though you have pocket of violence here and there in uh, states like uh, Zamfara, where the elections have been declared inconclusive. Um, INEC have improved. Since after the Edo election, Undo now, we are seeing senatorial and state houses of assembly election, and I think INEC has improved from where they used to be to where they are today. I would like to commend INEC for the relative peace that we witness in some parts of uh, the country where those by elections held. It's always a good thing when people turn out to exercise their franchise and at the end of the day, uh, their vote counts. But here, we know this is a, um, a new, uh, a normal thing for elections to hold, but we now count it as uh, a cause for joy when elections hold and people are not killed, people are not um, injured, people are not maimed. The father urged INEC to sustain achievement made so far. And we keep uh, calling on the electoral body to improve better. And we are looking into a situation whereby elections will be done electronically and INEC should also think of that moving forward. My advice to INEC would be to ensure that instances of election rigging, manipulations and what have you are thoroughly uh, eliminated. It may not be possible to have 100% uh, you know, elections without instances of violence, without instances of manipulations and what have you. But this should be kept at a very barest minimum. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is expected to prepare for a number of state governorship elections. Al-Hasam Bala, ITV News, Abuja.